Okay, I hope you guys can see everything. It seems like there's a little bit of glare. All right, this is my N64 project. Um, this is kind of what the boards look like. It'll actually undergo one more revision. Um, but uh, just thought I'd give you a more comprehensive preview of the games that this board can make. Uh, we are going to have a USB programmer. It's um, in the works right now. So uh, when this baby's ready to be released and sold, it'll be uh, super easy for people to to make their own games. So, um, all right, so I'm gonna get started here. I'm just gonna roll through them pretty quickly. This is uh, Sin and Punishment. Oh, my TV turned off. This is uh, the translated uh, Sin and Punishment. Our ultimate goal here is to have a uh, kind of a do-nothing board or um, as I'm going to develop a multi-CIC where all you get to do is just choose which one you want. You don't have to have a, a different chip. Um, one of the big distinctions on our, our boards is that um, it'll do uh, the flash RAM games. And I don't know of any other board that does flash RAM games. So, which one is this? Oh, StarCraft. So StarCraft 64, that's a flash RAM game. This is a Golden Eye X. This is uh, Conqueror's Bad Fur Day, one of the bigger uh, N64 games, well, one of the biggest, actually, N64 games, at 512 megabits. So. And we all know what name is, so. moving on. Is terrible in here. So this is uh, another flash RAM game, the Zelda Majoria's Mask, and then we have a Master Quest version of that as well. Boy, the glare is terrible in here. Anyway, hopefully you can see it. Moving on. This looks like one of the Mario parties. Number two. Right, so I know you're probably all thinking, oh, how much are they? When are they going to be ready? Oh, uh, when they're going to be ready, hopefully in about two months, maybe. Hopefully. We're really just kind of waiting on the programmer. Mario Party 3. Uh, the price, we haven't yet set a price. Um, 
We're probably going to have a different ROM size selections, like if you want to make a five, some of the games that are 512 megabits, those ROMs cost more, so we'll probably charge, you know, two or three dollars extra for those. But, um, you know, and of course you save money if you buy the smaller ROMs. You know, if all you plan to make is Mario Kart, then um, that should be a pretty cheap board. Um, I haven't really determined the price yet. Mario Party number one. Um, I don't know. We're still working out the price. We're going to try and keep it around $10, $15. Um, probably have to buy the programmer. Or maybe you get the programmer for free if you buy so many boards or something. But, but uh, obviously there's Mario 64. This would be Kirby. Maybe I already did Kirby. Can't remember. Alright, so there's uh, Mega Man, I think. Well, I played this game and my liking but but uh, Mega Man is also a flash RAM game uh, this one is Clay Fighters Sculptor Cut Screen so dark and the glare is bad. <laughs> All right, uh, shove that one. Just got a handful more, and then I'll end the video. Um, It does have good sound. Okay. Obviously, Donkey Kong 64. Uh, even though I 
haven't made any SRAM games um, other than the Zelda Ocarina of Time. Uh, it'll do the SRAM. Basically, my boards will do all the games. And then uh, we're planning on a Animal Crossing uh, mod that'll play do the Animal Crossing as well. Uh, Bomberman 64, second attack. Two more. So it'll do Smash Brothers and Ogre Battle. And here's Pokemon Stadium 2. That's another 512 megabit game. one of this grouping, another flash ram game, which one is this? Oh, Paper Mario. So Paper Mario, even though it's um, not, it's not 512 megabits, you have to use a 512 megabit ROM because the game is actually like 320. So, anyways, um, that kind of rounds out what I have kind of tested and made so far. Um, so, um, anyways, just kind of stay tuned. Um, RetroCircuits.com will have some of the finished games up on the website. Uh, there are certainly more titles to come. We're getting a lot of translations uh, in and done. And like I said, the Animal Crossing, we're working on uh, adaptation for that because uh, that requires a RTC uh, and it's also a Flash RAM game. So, anyways, um, just kind of tune in and check back, and we'll have uh, more updates as uh, the project moves along. Thanks for watching.